Today we're actually having our first ever tamale festival. It was an opportunity for the Los Angeles County Council to come back out and gain some relevancy again amongst the post because over the last few years it's dwindled away and the whole purpose of the Los Angeles County Council is to represent those very posts. So if we're no longer connected, engaged with those posts, then we're not doing our job. Right now it's December, it's Christmas time. Here in a lot of our Latino communities, we actually start making tamales for Christmas. So why not, instead of having just a chili cook-off, let's have a tamale cook-off. The whole point was to bring these Legion families together and actually have some fun and have an opportunity to raise funds for not only the Los Angeles County Council, but also for the individual posts, units, and squadrons, and for the post that's actually hosting us. So a lot of these posts have been shut down because of the pandemic. They're trying to recover. So an event such as this actually is helping the host post get back some of those lost revenues. So it's mutually beneficial across the entire spectrum of the Legion family. As I said before, it's much, much easier to judge chili. You know, because you know, everybody's chili is too hot or it's not, or you know, the, the, the color. This, nothing is consistent. The colors are different, tastes are different, and how they're made is totally different. Even the masa, that the, that the corn, can be cooked totally different ways. So, you know, I've eaten tamales all my half, 90% of my life. So it's no no biggie, but it's like, uh, but I am, there's certain things I don't like. I don't like sweet tamales. You know, I, I don't have no problem between red or green, but it's, it's like. And I volunteered to come over here and represent not only my post, but I'm also doing my grandma's recipe. Her recipe comes from uh, Sinaloa. Okay, so it's a recipe that has been followed for so many years by my aunts, my, my mom, my cousins, and, and me. It's a recipe that uh, we keep very close to us. We don't share it, but we do make this delicious tamales. It's just delicious. Oh, clearly, if you were able to walk around this venue and listen to the mariachi band and try the different tamales, with the raffle prizes. I mean, it's been an exceptional event. We had over 150 people easily sitting at all these tables. They come in waves, they'll start out strong, the people will leave and another wave will come in. We're expecting our third wave, so probably throughout the entire event, we're gonna have close to four, 450 people come through today. Yes, the tamales is one thing that brought us together, but at the end of the day, it's a fellowship. It's like camaraderie and we all, are here to represent something which is us the veterans oh this totally worked out well working towards uh, bringing the family together together to actually work together to actually you know make a difference not only in the community of los angeles county but their own individual posts because they had to work together as a team bottom line is we all win because we all put the effort we all put the time and here we are enjoying this delicious tamales from everybody else